Welcome back to the Trucker Brown channel. Today we're going to try to touch on some endorsements. When you're about to go to your trucking school, and one of the things you have to think of is endorsements. You have the option, you can go in there and just get your class A, or you can go the extra mile and get your endorsements. The main endorsements you hear about on here usually are gonna be hazmat, they're gonna be um, uh, passenger, triples, doubles, things like that. And today we're just gonna talk about you know, how much more money and what are the benefits to you to you doing the uh, doing the endorsements. Now, obviously there's a monetary value to doing uh, the, the endorsements, but you also have to look into what you're actually gonna be doing. So let's 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 start off small and we'll lead to how much more hazmat can make you a year. Triples. Well we'll start all the way down at tanker and doubles. Tanker will allow you to start hauling um, tanks with your CDL class A and they will help you get home a little bit more and they do get a little bit higher pay per mile but the really the reason for that is when you're not talking about hazmat tanker you're talking about regular tanker is the fact that the job is really not around driving there's a lot of waiting involved with tanker so basically when, when i used to work for lcl up there in uh, hazel pennsylvania uh, hershey pennsylvania i'm sorry you would pick up a trailer you would have to wait for a trailer so you would get trailer weight pay then you have to clean the trailer you get trailer clean pay then you would take the trailer to the hershey place and then you would have to wait for it to be um wait for their tanks to be in order wait for it to be, if that's their tanks are being cleaned or you have to wait for the tanks to be completely used before you could fill it up or whatever they had you doing you would come in you'll pull you would, then you'll be stopping again so they paid a higher per mile rate because you're not really driving that far most of your day is is is, is waiting filling and and uh, what did they say uh, uh expelling i forget the name they use for emptying the tank but are emptying the tank all these take hours so they pay you a bunch of different pays so you're getting a drop off pay where you're waiting to expel the tank you get paid for picking up you get paid for cleaning the tank you get paid for dropping off the tank you get paid for waiting for a tank so miles are really not the main thing that you're getting paid for but they try to give you a little bit higher pay rate because you're not getting as many miles as someone who's doing a van or something where they're just popping and dropping they pick it up they drive a thousand miles and they get paid a certain amount of money you're you may only run 400 miles that day and have actually more money in your accessorial pays than you actually do in your mile pay so that's one way you could look at tanker and you can say well i'm really not trying to run all over the country i just want to be able to do a b c d g and be able to go home and i'll get paid by other things than that so some people do like tanker some people swear by tanker then you have your doubles and you have your um your doubles and you have your, your your triples now usually when you're doing doubles and you're doing uh, um triples you'll be dealing with some people like i'll give you a couple company names um uh, old dominion fedex uh, ups uh, a lot of it's mail you know things like that and those guys they do seem to be getting home way more but one thing you have to realize about those people is that stuff has to be on time because you're dealing with, with mail. So you, you can't, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, play around with those type of loads. You It has to get there. And that's why when you're driving, you'll see those FedEx guys, they'll fly by you because they're, they're running what they call JIT loads just in time and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So you have to be on time with that stuff. Plus, it's not that simple to back when you're doing triples and you know you got to make sure you get it right the first time you can't be backing down a highway or i mean i mean backing let's say you go down the wrong street and you got to back you're in a bad you're in a bad situation man because those triples and doubles they don't back as simple as a single single backing uh trailer one of the benefits to it though uh, old dominion from my last time i talked to them they were paying ninety four thousand dollars and you're home every day or every other day 
So you see, they, they it's an offset. So on one hand, you'll say, oh, I don't want to deal with that, but you're going in there starting with a decent, sometimes they have decent signing bonuses at these places, so you're starting somewhere around eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000 in a pretty chill area. Let's say you live down south somewhere, and you're, you're freaking home at a, a lot of the time. Now, there's a lot involved in that. You know, you have to, there's a lot of stops. There's a, a stuff can't be late, things like that. But you will make it home and you will make a very, very competitive wage messing with doubles and all of that type of stuff. But you, you know, you have to weigh your options, man. You have to think, hmm. You know, right now, if you want to figure out, well, how much is $90,000 really? Well, take $90,000 uh, 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 without thinking about taxes, divide it into 12, and that's what you'll make a month. And compare that to what you're doing at the warehouse you're working at right now or wherever you are working just without your CDL. That's the, the up in lifestyle that you're pretty much going to get. But it is work that comes with that. And I, I always want to stress that part where you just run in there only thinking about the money. And then when the actual go around turns into the get down, you're like, oh, my God, I'm, I didn't anticipate this. A, a perfect area, which you really don't need an endorsement to do, but an area where you need to watch just taking the money is food service. Food service pays very well, but it is rough. It is a rough job. Some people, if it, some people, it, it, they like it. They love it. And if you look, look at the comments, when I say food service, look at the comments where the guy's going to say food service, A, B, C, D, F, G. It's a rough deal, man. You can't just jump into food service and think, oh, I'll be okay. If you have the stamina and the gumption and you're young enough, food service will get you to $100,000 in a, in a decent amount of time. But it is not a walk in the park. And I don't want this to be a, a channel where we tell you, oh, go do this. And you get there and it's not what you're expecting. Then you come around to the Gouda Glanja, the one that everybody loves to say, oh, get your hazmat. Now, you can get your hazmat. As Sean says on Think Media Channel, the niches get the riches. And that's so true even in this standpoint. You can go and, and be a, a tanker guy as Dirty Broke. Go follow him on YouTube. Well, tells you a tanker hazmat guy and you can drop off to you know uh crude oil places you can you can haul uh uh, uh nitrous oxide and, 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 and uh, 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 weird peroxides and and fuel gasoline boiler oil you all these things are available for you to haul and they're all make you know a very nice amount of money compared to the regular drive-in person that's just driving to, uh, 500 miles a day and, and going home. You're talking about, let's say, I know when I looked at Love's, you know, I would have been seeing like 19, 2200 something dollars a week and home every day. You know, that's, if I had, a, I don't have a hazmat, but if I did have a hazmat, like I said, go to Dewey Broke, he'll talk to you about it. And it's, it's, a, it's a decent amount of money, man. It's not, it's no joke. Some of the things you have to look into, and yeah, that's more because if you're doing drive-in, you're making fifty thousand dollars locally. That's that's pretty much what you're doing with no with no endorsement, no nothing. You're around a thousand dollars a week. That's just the truth about the matter, unless you're messing with the LTL. But you're talking about doubling your money over there in the hazmat tanker area. But there's some things you got to worry about. Some of you guys smoke. You cannot smoke driving a tanker. Uh, a tanker hazmat. You can't smoke with 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 uh with hauling gasoline and fuel around. So that's something you got to think about. And some people who don't smoke will say, "Oh man, that's not a big deal." But to a smoker, that's a big deal. It is more money, but they're miserable. It's a big deal. So you got to know that going in. You can't sneak a cigarette. You can't smoke a cigarette in the truck. You can't smoke a cigarette around the truck. It's an explosion and a fire hazard. So you have to have that in mind. Okay, maybe this isn't for me. This is where a non-smoker should be doing this. You also have to be be mindful of your license because when you're doing hazmat, those violations hurt more than a person who's not hazmat. You understand? You don't want to put yourself in that position. I may get popped 
for something and it may be two or three points who knows what that is on the hazmat side one of the hazmat guys comment at the bottom they don't play around with their license man and you can mess up and, and mess your license up playing around with hazmat you also have to understand routes you can't drive a 45,000 pound gasoline or nitrous bomb past a school so you have to know the route you're supposed to take through the city and you can't drive it past the hospital. You can't drive it past. Like, you have to know what you're doing. These guys are not, you know, they're not um, amateurs here. These guys are, 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 the, are the superstars, actually. You also have to know about surge. When you, when you break with a van, it's different than breaking with a smooth bore tank. And surge is when you go hit the, hit the brake, it'll, it'll pause for a second, then boom, it'll push you forward into traffic. And that ain't a good deal if you got, got, got gasoline on you or got some type of uh, explosive or corrosive uh, uh, material on you. So these are things you got to think about. Am I okay with driving around with a bomb on my back? That's why I never did it. I wasn't okay with that. But some people do it, and they make very good money, and they should make very good money. It just particularly wasn't for me, but it could be for you. You know, it could, it, it could be for you. So you, you have to think about that. These niches do get you the riches. These endorsements do affect your home time. They affect your income. They affect your benefits. You think dirty broke benefits are crappy? No. He gets probably very good benefits. You should go ask him, but he probably gets very good benefits compared to the guy that just drives to Dollar Tree. I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't know if it's better or not. Let Dirty Broke tell you or the Dollar Tree guy tell you, but most likely these guys have better benefits. There's more money on the table for there's more room for stuff like that. So I just want y'all to be very mindful of those type of things when you, okay, I'm getting my CDLs. What am I going to do? What, uh, I'll give you a good tip what you should do. Get every endorsement. If you're going through a private place and they offer every endorsement, get every endorsement. And that way you at least have the choice. The choice. It's about choice. Then you have the choice. You may say, I ain't feeling that, but you had a choice. If you go in there and just get your class A, you've just limited your choices. You've just limited your choices and that's just the way it is. So I want y'all to really, really think about these things and and know that hmm, this will affect my career. These endorsements are not something you just slip past. They're very important. They're very important. Now, um, I also want to talk to you right now, since y'all are here, about the uh, 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 the new Patreon things we're going to be doing. That's where you're going to be able to uh, call in and really, really have a one-on-one -on -one with me. And I'm going to set up a time for the Patreon people to have a one-on-one -on -one or, or, or not a one-on-one, -on -one, a, a group session where people can call in and have like more of a group session and say, this is what's kind of bothering me or this is what I wanted to know about. Or you're just wanting to check in once a week and just be like, hey, man, I've been thinking about this TV and we can go in there. It'll only be in Patreon. And um, the Patreon link will be in the comments and the bio. If you want to come on over, it's uh, New Regime Entertainment on Patreon. Uh, it's also at the top of the uh, front page of the YouTube channel where you'll see the little orange thing. You can just click that. It'll take you right to it. I appreciate every single one of you. Give me a like if this video helps you make a decision. And give me a comment on how it helped you make a decision so we can get better on this channel. A like helps the channel out. A comment helps the channel out even more. A share helps the channel out even more. I want you to be happy. I don't want you to do drugs. I want you to have a good career, but I also want you to be smart. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.